Figaro. I was looking at some videos from when I first moved into my apartment three years ago, or two and a half years ago. Three? I'm not sure, but um, it occurred to me how different it looked and like how much I've changed and how much I've added to it. Obviously. <laughs> oh my God, he's playing with a fly. Because I've accumulated some stuff and um, made it more of a livable place rather than a shell. So, um, and I've never actually done like a full tour. I think I did one two months in, which sort of, like I, there wasn't really much to show you at that point. But I thought I'd document what it looks like now, just in case, just in case I leave soon. Because, let me be honest with you guys, I'm thinking about moving. Um, rent is high. And the fact that it's like increased every year that I've lived here and I've lived here for three years, is not good. Like it was already pretty expensive. <laughs> so I thought, while it's clean and it has all my stuff in it, I'd film and show you around the flat. I'm bed flat in Manchester. Um, pretty close to the city centre, dare I say, city centre. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drink my matcha and then I'll show you around. But yeah, I, I mopped yesterday. So if I'm not gonna show you now, then I will never show you. Kiss, kiss. Also the before and afters are crazy. Okay, I'm ready to show you. I think I should start from, sorry, I'm so distracted by my cats. Okay, I'm gonna start from the outside <laughs> as if I was welcoming you into my abode. It's a corridor. As soon as you walk in, I have a coat rack. Lots of coats. You are almost always guaranteed to be greeted by the cats. That's the living room, but I may show you the bedroom first because it's less exciting than the main room. Uh, I've also got this stunning print. What is it? It's not, well it is art, isn't it? I, bro, I don't know, but I got it for my birthday. It's made ages ago, 1952. Sure, it's super old, but it's, I love it. My friend got it for me for my birthday last year or the year before, I can't remember, but I love. It's like a big scroll. Um, I try not to touch it because I don't want to get my greasy fingers on it. Love, it's actually huge. <laughs> but let's turn this way. And then we go into the bathroom again. This is not exciting at all. The lighting's a bit yellow because I've just got that light on at the moment. Now, like I said, it is a one bedroom flat, so, um, it's not huge and we save space where we can. One of those places being the bathroom or the toilet room, if you will. Although I do have a bath. It is quite dated. Let me turn a nicer light on, okay? That's better, that's better. Towel rack, sink, mirror, stuff, shower, eucalyptus, stuff to wash with, storage cupboard. No, in fact, let's not. Those with keen eyes may be able to recognize that that is a fake eucalyptus plant because I have no ventilation here. Well, I do, I've got that, but I've got like no natural light coming in here. So let's leave. In fact, let's turn that off, save some money. It's fine, it serves its job. Leaving. Hello. Coming into my bedroom, I have got some things that I love in there, but it's just a square room with a bed in the middle. And honestly, the bed is huge. It takes up a lot of the real estate of the room. Like it's a super king size bed. So I can't really fit much else in there, which is fine. I'm not complaining. I do not need anything. I truly do not need anything else in my life. I've got so much shit, I've realized. Entering bedroom. One thing that's important that you take note of is this David Bowie doorstop and there is Bowie, oh my God. That's not usually there, I just didn't have a home for it, but it's just a bag. This is a rug that someone left in the foyer of the apartment building because they were moving out and they couldn't take it with them. So then I took it and it's fabulous. It doesn't really fit very well, but I've tried to make it work and Bowie loves it. This is the aforementioned humongous bed. I have some rails, <laughs> shelves even, that I got from Amazon. They've got like, kind of an industrial look and I've just packed like all my skincare on there because I have nowhere else to put it. Stuff, stuff, too much. I have the big beams in my room, which is a feature of this apartment building because it used to be an old textiles mill. So we've got a lot of, um, you know, old features like this and I'm glad that there's one in the bedroom because I love it, I really do. The cupboards came with the apartment. It is a furnished apartment. So I did get a few things, not much actually, but very helpful things like the cupboards. 
lots and lots of storage. They are falling apart. I've asked my landlord if he can replace them because they fell apart of no fault of my own, I promise you. He said that he wasn't looking to upgrade any of the furnishings at the moment, which is fine. When you look at it from this view, I have a dying bit of paradise plant. Honestly, I've struggled to get enough natural light to it. Um, and probably I haven't watered it enough, I'll be honest. It's just on a stack of books. Because I like that look. My painting that I love, that fell off the wall. If you are an OG of this channel, you will remember when I got that painting back when I lived at home. And I got it from an antique shop for a tenner. And apparently it's worth like over £100. But the frame's broken now, so there's the update that you didn't want. Another rug sleigh and honestly, throw sleigh. This throw is from Urban Outfitters. It is double sided. Look at that orange. Isn't that pretty? Super massive bed. A really naff bedside table that again someone left in the foyer and I took. Jewelry holder, candle, another candle. Green lamp that looks really sick when you turn it on. In fact, <gasps> yes. What did I tell you? Mega, massive, huge. And I've got more brick on the inside as well. Love it. I do need something for there because otherwise there's not much in here. Um, apart from my cow print thrifted <laughs> radio, that does work, but I do need to fiddle around with it to get it to play and some bucket hats. Yeah, so without dogs in my location, there is my balcony. There is a um, <laughs> empty mug reel. Um, guys, I'll be completely honest. I just went to upload the tour I did of the living room and it's a zero byte file, meaning that it's not uploading. So I've got like, it was 20 minutes worth of footage of me talking to the living room that I can't use. So I'm gonna have to do it again. Entering the main room. Beautiful. It is an open area. So it's got the living room and kitchen in one. Nice light and airy. Um, yeah, I really like it like this. I'll start with the lounging bit with the sofas. The sofas did come with the apartment. They are um, not the greatest. <laughs> it's like really old, worn leather. Um, it was a furnished apartment, but I've added basically most of the stuff that's here. This is a thrifted mustard stool. Love, love her. This is my butterfly chair with a rug on it, but I think it looks nice like that. This little table is from Amazon. Look how funky it is. Glass top and a really interesting design for the uh, stand. I love blown glass. You'll notice I've got a lot of pieces like this and inside here guys chocolate right so if you ever come over that's where the chocolate is most of the stuff like this is thrifted but i also got quite a few things from tk maxx like the home bit home sense very nice this table i wish this stand wasn't gray but other than that i really like the shape obviously glass again i think it contrasts nice with the old industrial look of the brick and the beams this is what the table's looking like. Just some trinkets and stuff. These coasters are Olympic poster coaster. <laughs> poster coasters. <laughs> I think they're pretty cool. They're actually my mum's, so cheers, Susan. Books of ours. More blown glass. Again, just little side tables, plants, just to make things look more homely. It's not very healthy looking. Let's not analyze it. This is a new little addition, this crate. I thought it'd be a nice place for the cats to sleep and they love. I put a little cow print cushion in there to make it even more homely for them. <laughs> I love sitting here. Nice place to just drink your, your coffee or your matcha in the morning. The sun comes in, mainly in the afternoon time, um, stroke evening. It is a bit of a sun trap. It does get quite hot in here, but there are, it's because the windows are large. So it lets a lot of the light in. Um, the noise is okay. I get some rail noise, but like city noise is fine. There isn't really any rowdiness. The bells, the church bells are probably the most irritating part. But beggars can't be choosers. And that's it really. Let's, great location. It's caught my eye. Let's move on to the shelves. Okay, so I'd call this the middle of the room, technically. Do you remember when I first moved in and they were barren? Basically, I filled it with lots of jars of food. Let's go. <laughs> it's like Bilbo's pantry in many ways. The jars are recycled jars of like old nut butter and things that I get from a website called Koro, which is like a German bulk buying website and Erin5 if you ever want to order from there. I don't get any money from that. Just if you want it, you can use it. I have got a storage pantry tour video, so I'm not going to go through it in too much detail, but it's a lot of like dried nuts, oats, flowers and stuff. Okay, briefly, I'll show you. Nuts, granola, sushi rice, more nuts, chocolate chips, psyllium husk, almond flour, um, cereal, cereal, gelatin. What's this? Quinoa. More, like more stuff. More stuff. Mm. 
crispy edamame. Delicious. How cool is this? It's like a New York Times car bumper. I thought that was cool. Thrifted again. More books. If you remember my city diaries when I first moved in, I was determined to have this whole thing covered in books. And I'd go to the um, little library, little bookshelf exchange in Spinning Fields, um, where I'd read the old books and I'd, I'd swap them for new ones. But um, honestly, like that would have I would have had to take so many books and I, at the end of the day I wasn't going to read them all so I only really took the ones that interested me and I filled the rest with jars because I'm always going to use the jars anyway so the only other things of note on this shelf are like I've got a little wellness bit and my you know my BTS little BTS bit there um go on then go on I'll show you having wellness stuff I'm obsessed with gummies at the moment um I've got vitamin D biotin magnesium some omegas let's go um, it's my BTS shelf. As you can see, I've come a long way from just having that with the Source 7 when I first showed you this shelf. I've even got my uh, cold brews, not on June in front. Um, <laughs> cup sleeves and stuff. I I think I have, not all the albums, but most of them. Like I don't have some of the EPs and like random re-releases and special editions. I've got like what I need. I don't really need any more. That is a fortune, this shelf. If so if I'm ever like in need of money, <laughs> kind of am. I know where to go. <laughs> okay, let's move on. My green ottoman, which I adore, and um, that's come with me across the country. It used to be in my bedroom at home, and now it's here. Lovely painting of a panther. It used to be on the wall, but it fell off because those little grip hooks are not strong enough. So it's leaning there at the moment. Leopard cushion. Leopard print lamp. Rum bottle with dry flowers. Cool copper table. We have the glass table with my rattan chairs. This is a little um, little fur throw. It's actually a coat, but I think it works quite well. More blown glass in amber and green, my favorite color combination. This is a votive holder that my friend made me. Dry flowers are a prominent If you feature. couldn't tell already, I'm obsessed. Oh, also, look how, look. Isn't this cute? Cow print tray. And then walking in to the kitchen. Let's call this bit an island. It's not really. <laughs> but we're gonna call it it. It's what sections off the kitchen from the main room. And look, it's the cats, it's the boys. Oh my God, what a stretch. What a stretch, Figaro. And my baby. Oh. A lot of the things in the kitchen you have seen before because I did a kitchen tour not long ago. Oh, if anyone has a rag doll, you'll know that they always wanna be picked up and carried or else they don't trip. And by not long ago, I mean probably two years ago, but honestly a lot of the equipment I use is still exactly the same. So if you want an in-depth tour of my cupboards, etc. You know where to go, baby. <laughs> Blender from Bosch, Russell Hobbs toaster. This is an hour place pan in sage green. It's my favorite thing ever. Um, coffee pot. This is not a chopping board, but I've been using it as a chopping board, hence it looks like this. It's just a serving board, it's like a cheese platter, but I've totally fucked it up. Um, anyway, yin yang, so cute. My fridge is over there, my KitchenAid is over there. I love my KitchenAid more than anything. It's in the starry night, it was my moving out present from my parents, which I know is moving out present a thing. I don't know, but I'm very grateful that they gave it me. I promise you I'm not spoiled, but um, yeah, that was very special to me. Big. <laughs> it's very special to me. This has all been recently cleaned, so it's kind of like, Major. I made this, I made this. Not the glass, but I, I painted that. All my spoons and stuff in there. This is actually an old bottle that I've just refilled with plain soap, but I like this because it looks uh, like I'm rich. And, <laughs> excuse me, baby. Here are some pots and spices. I keep Malden sea salt in here. It's pretty cool. I've got pestle and mortar, obviously the spices, um, cup measures, spoon measures, like coffee, <laughs> baby boy. Coffee, collagen. That's my coffee machine with a matching kettle um, in green. I've got some mugs on the top. I use this to steam milk. I'm kind of a milk steaming fiend, as you might have seen at the start of the video. Matcha station, cute, on a little tray. The Chat Noir on it, that's CBD, that's the matcha, that's the whisk. That's a clock with the incorrect time. Picture, KitchenAid. This oven, by the way, is super clean, because I don't really use it, I use my air fryer. That's one thing. Oh, and look how pretty the rest of the flat is. Um, I don't really room. know what else to show you. Fig, they are the only rooms I have here. But I love them all very much. Um, this place has brought me so much happiness. I've got, obviously I've got a lot of stuff here um, that I'm gonna have to start getting rid of because I don't want to be a hoarder. And I fear if I keep going in this trajectory, 
I'm I'm gonna be on a TV show, but I hope you enjoyed. If there's any questions, do ask me them in the comments below. Not where I'm living. Obviously, I'm not gonna answer that. Um, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed, and I'm very happy. I'm very grateful to be living here. I'm thankful for the years I've had here. Kiss, kiss. I love Manchester. I'm not leaving Manchester, ever. I don't think. Although, don't, don't hold me to anything I say on this channel. Anyway. Thanks for watching, peace and love, peace and love, and I'll see you next time, bye.